This is a nightmare. Could this be a 40-year-old? They're playing us. They are catfish, which means that they're good liars. Hey! hey. Mary! It's me! Holy shit! What's up? Hi! This is Mary slash Allie. Yeah, no, this is Dylan. We just saw you this year. The second time, it was about Darian. This is deja vu. What is it going to take for you to stop catfishing? I don't know. We all tried to yeah. beg you to stop catfishing. Are you still? No. I don't I believe that. No, I am not, and I'm so proud of myself. So tell us how you met Adam, under what circumstances. We met three years ago. Wait a second. So while you were being a catfish, um, you were having a wonderful relationship as yourself with this other guy? No, no, no. Um, so her relationship was on and off. When Adam would get in a relationship back home, he would dump me and I'd just go back catfishing. Did he ever say, hey, what the fuck, I saw you on catfish? Yeah, but he was like, I don't want to talk about that because that's a burden for you and you don't want to talk about it, so let's not talk Con about it. Convenient. Yeah. Sure. All right, so okay, so give us the whole thing. We met online. Now my people you may know as Mary, as Adam, well, as Cameron, actually. Adam is his old account, so like he doesn't use it. But I met him as his picture, like he had the real picture. Why the fake name? His mom and him are not in each other's lives. So he doesn't want his mom to try to connect him on Facebook. He said he didn't want his mom to find him, so he ch uses an account with the name Cameron. Why is he so anti-mom? Because his mom has issues. He has joint custody of his little sister with his grandparents. So you guys start, you, you're crushing on him. He flirts back with you. We start, you know, talking all the time, but video chatting is not a thing. When I would ask him, he's like, I'm having an ugly day. Where does Adam live? Alabama. And where you're in? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I have asked him, hey, let me come see you. And he's like, I'm embarrassed for you to meet my family or I don't want you to come into my little sister's life. If it turns out that Adam is not the guy in the pictures, will that matter? No, I am still gonna love him no matter what. No matter what he looks like. If he is old, I don't know if I can pursue that. What's oh, old? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say 40, over 40. He's always been there. He pushed me, he wants me to do better in my life and it feels good. I'm going to business school, I'm going to get brand new teeth, and I'm super excited to have a beautiful smile, finally. When I lose weight, he's like, you're beautiful just the way you are, but if you want to lose weight, then you do it for you, don't do it for me. And I want that, I want someone that doesn't care that I'm bigger than other girls. My fear is that if it does end up being someone who's not the guy in the pictures, that you go back to needing to catfish or other coping mechanisms that might not be healthy. I'm not gonna relapse because I need to be strong for myself and other people. We ran his phone number. It didn't come back with anything. There's another website that we use. We looked up Adam in Alabama on this search engine that like journalists and serious researchers use. Mm -hmm. and we got two hits. The first one is 43. And the second one is 40. Yeah. So we went to his Adam profile. This is the one that his mom can see. It didn't take long to notice this girl Skylar I don't see her comments. Why, are you blocked? Yeah. Oh, you don't see these? No, I've never seen those. Well, we FaceTimed with her. She had some very interesting things to say. She was under the impression that she was dating Adam. She also told us that they FaceTimed, but it was late and dark and she couldn't see really anything. Skylar told us one more thing, which was that they have a plan to meet. He's apparently going to travel to North Carolina to meet her on December 11th. <sighs> hey, Adam, this is Neve uh, and Max from Catfish. We're here with Mary. She actually reached out to us uh, because, as you know, she's been trying to meet up with you. I mean, I'm just confused. Like, she knows I'm not a catfisher. Well, how does she know that? Maybe we've on the phone. <laughs> We've been making this show for five years. Anybody can make Facebook profiles. Mary wants to know who you are and wants to meet you. I have a lot of responsibility. I'm a very busy person. Okay. We'll take care of flying Mary to you so long as you're willing to make a little bit of time out of your busy schedule to so just finally meet her. All right, yeah, I'll meet Mary. Great. I'll figure something out. Adam just texted me. Oh. Oh. I'm busy today. He said he would meet us if we came down, and now he's busy today. Let's agree to meet tomorrow, question mark. He said, I'll get back with you on that. 
This guy could be a total no-show. Yeah, hi, Adam. Hey, uh, it's Neve, Max, and Mary. We're here, um, so all we need now is a time and place that works. Um, well, it'll be like half an hour. I'll get you the address. Okay, well, great. Look forward to seeing you. Come on down. <laughs> is that him? Holy moly. I can't believe it. What's your name? Adam. You're Adam? <laughs> yeah. Wow. We're here because something isn't lining up. We don't know what that is, but you know what that is. Mary has a lot of deep feelings for you, and she needs to get an explanation. Well, you love me, right? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to ask before I open up more about something. I am a female to male transgender. I was dared to tell you because you post everything on Facebook. I don't really want to broadcast it like you do everything else. You're worried about Mary's discretion. Yeah. Well, then you could be like, hey, I haven't fully came out to everyone, so I don't want you to f do it for me. I mean, I don't care that you're going in the transition. It's not an issue for me. Are you out to your family? I am, but I don't exactly get respect for it. I understand what it feels like to be on the other side and be embarrassed of who you are. It's not necessarily embarrassment. This is Alabama. Yeah. Right. People don't say that stuff lightly. It takes a lot of courage. This is not easy. We all appreciate that. Do you plan on staying here? No. I plan on getting out eventually. Where to? Anywhere. Where people like me are more socially acceptable. But I basically have some custody of my little sister, and it's a huge responsibility considering that I am only 20 and I basically live alone. We also spoke to Skylar. You seem to also be in a relationship with her. You're supposed to meet her on December 11th. That was hurtful for Mary to find out. The thing is, Skylar and I are really just close friends, so like, it's not very serious with her. She thinks it is. Yeah, kind of makes me feel like I'm not as important as you try to make it seem. Do you want to be right in a relationship with Mary. I do want to be in a relationship with you, but I live here, you live there. Is there really any future to it if we're not moving from it? Like, I mean, you just said that you want to move away from Alabama, and yes, I mean, I would move for you in a heartbeat. Just the, really the thing about it is, it's just like, you just got to slow down on things. I have a lot of stuff that I have to take care of before any of that can happen, and even then, I feel if I want to date someone here, I should be able to do that. But I wouldn't have a problem with you doing that either. Can we go now? I love the relationship that we have, but. As is. Yeah, like, right. as it She's is She's right far now. away, yeah. we text. Yeah. That's not a relationship. Well, I mean, it's a friendship, but it's not the relationship she's looking for. Weirdly enough, I still want to go on a date. <laughs> I don't blame you. I mean, I was under the impression it was real, like we were dating. But uh, I feel bad for leading you on with it. But like, we're on two totally different pages. This relationship on my end is like more of a friendship. I just want to go on a date with you. I can't exactly be seen in public with you. A recent ex of mine came back into the picture that lives around here. Whoa! Look at, Whoa, look at the teeth! teeth. Oh, oh my, my god! god. Wow. Those are gorgeous. Thank you. Any communication with Adam? Like, when we left, he blocked me on everything. But uh, his girlfriend has added me on Facebook. What? And, uh, he'll never guess who it is. Wait, what? Who? Tyler, you know the girl you guys talked to on the phone? Oh, that she was like 17? Have they met? Yeah, he went down there and met her. Yeah. Interesting twist. Do you have any regrets about the way things went down? Well, I enjoyed seeing her. Like, it helped me find peace with and everything. You were pretty cold. Yeah, this time I was cold. At least you acknowledge that you probably could have handled things a little bit better. Yeah.